In this tutorial we're going to learn about um, Adobe Premiere Pro and it's going to be the 2022 version. Alright, so when you open Premiere Pro you will see a similar screen to what you see before you and the first thing that you're going to do is click on New Project. It will then ask you to name the project so you can see project name up the top. And you can change where you actually store the advert. So this is the default, okay, so where it's being stored. And then you will go and you'll press create. It might take a couple of seconds, but you can just uh, press create and it will load it on for you. All right, so this is your main stage. So when we're on this page, the first thing that you're going to need to do is set up a sequence. Okay, so if you right click on the bottom square and you go to new item and go to sequence, you'll see a pop up and this allows you to control uh, what your page actually looks like. And if we go to settings, it will put a default in there. So it's up to you if you want to choose uh, one of their templates or if you want to scroll up and do custom, which is what I tend to do. Uh, 24 or 25 uh, frames per second and 1920 to 1080 is uh, the default okay so if I press OK now I have now set up my first page and you can see the sequence there and everything is starting to pop in okay so if I talk you around the page uh, that you see in front of you. So on this top left, this is where we're going to have the effect controls. So when you want to edit it, maybe crop a bit, maybe put some uh, blur effect on, you'll do it in this corner. Uh, this one here is your playback, so you can maximize it if you want to, so you have the full screen. Press escape to get it off. All right, so when you want to actually view your advert, this is where you'll see it in the playback area. This is your timeline, and you've probably seen that on lots of different software that you've used before. You can see the different layers. You've got your videos, your audio. This is your tools, so things like you've got your uh, razor tool, which will obviously cut uh, part of your video. Um, you've got your selection tool, your text tool, hand tool, etc. And this bit on the left is your media. Okay, so when you're actually on your main page, um, you will be able to come and collect your media. But what I suggest you do as you're going along, it's called, for each folder is classed as a bin. So if, for example, if you put audio, and the way to make sure that you work effectively is to make sure that you know where everything is. Um, so if I put video, and the more organized you are, you know, the more effective your video is going to be okay so we've created all the bins that we want now you can start dragging and dropping um, all your different sounds and images into the correct folders okay so in the audio all you'll need to do is highlight and drag them into the folder that you want and it will import the files for you okay so do that uh, get all your, all your audio your images your animations and videos and put them into the right folder you can see that I've dragged and dropped them in to save a bit of time and just make sure everything is where you are. Now, a point to note, you can see here, I can see all the pictures, but there are different views if you wanted to. This is your list view, um, or you've got obviously the thumbnail view so you can actually see it a bit more clearly. And this one puts the names on there for you. All right, and you can change the sizes if you want to, if you want to make them bigger or smaller. So just align your page the way that you uh, feel more comfortable with what you're seeing. Okay, so let's start dragging things onto the actual timeline. Okay, so we can just drag them onto the video part at the top. And if I wanted to put a video on, I can drag that on and put another video on. Uh, that's my animation bin. So maybe I could put a little animation on and get some more images. All right, so build up what you want and we can edit it then as we're going along. All right, but you can start to see it being built. So if you don't want to play the whole clip, what you can do effectively is just crop the clip on this effect section on the effect control all right so if i only wanted to play a small part of this particular clip because you know an advert's uh, not going to be particularly long 
then you can say I only wanted it for this particular timeline and um, you can just resize it or drag it along if you wanted to okay so choose what part of the clip that you actually want once you're happy you'll see that it edits down the bottom and you'll see that it resizes in the control panel at the bottom so you see it's lots some of the uh, sound um, and the picture to the left and the right because I've cropped it and it's only got this bit so you can drag it to where you want it okay so the other thing that you can do if we play this clip now you can see that it's at 400 all right so it's a bit large uh, to actually see it on here so if you want to see it on the screen okay so you can resize it you might want to put some effects on it so if we go uh, to the effects now if you can't see the effects if you go to windows and click effects you should uh, have a new tab for effects here you can have a look at all the different types of um, uh, windows that are available to you uh, so if we have a look, so we're on a video at the moment, so you can see you've got lots of different controls, you've got audio effects, audio transitions, video effects, etc. So uh, where you're happy with an effect, you could click on it, drag it on to your actual video, and then when we play it, it should give you, um, well this one's a particular camera blue. All right, so there's lots of different effects that you can use. Have a go of all the different ones. Uh, there's different effects for, obviously, the audio versus uh, videos. So this is the toolbar that you use, and you'll use quite a few of the different um, icons on here. So the first one is the select. So as we know, we can uh, select and drag all our different objects around our different uh, timelines. You'll also probably use the razor. So if there's a part of the video or an image that you want to make shorter, what you can do is actually decide, right, I want to crop it here. You can click on the razor tool <coughs> and you'll be able to crop it. But if it's an, got sound with it, you will have to crop it on both the layers. You can then just click on the image and delete it. Click on the sound and delete it. And you'll see that there's a gap and you'll see the gap at the top on the timeline as well where it's yellow. What you'll have to do then, if I make this a bit larger so you can see it, you can click on the gap and then it will crop it for you. All right. Um, the other thing that we can do is we can add uh, some text and we can edit some text. So if I have a look for a place um, that I think needs a bit of text. Okay, so I'm going to add a text layer on this section so that it gives it a bit of a label. So I can do that in several ways. So you press your T on your toolbar or you can press T on your keyboard and you can see now it's given me uh, the text area. Now you should be able to see essential graphics. Okay, so what we can do on this section um, we can uh, play around with the different fonts and the font styles so you can choose and it gives you obviously the sample of it on the right we can do things like make it larger and smaller just using the drag we can change the distance between each of the letters we can make the, uh, the letters different sizes move them around we can make it center and we can do things like rotate as well. So if you want to have it rotated, if I did it um, 50 degrees, and you can also drag it so it's larger that way. And obviously with the select tool, you can move it around. Okay, so that's adding our text layer. You can change your fill colors. You can change your font styles. Um, it's up to you, but make sure that you've got your essential graphics. If you can't see it, you've got your essential graphics tab in the Windows options. Uh, we can resize our uh, layers uh, if you wanted to make them bigger or smaller and you can do a similar here so if you want to see the whole of the, uh, of the video or you want to just see part of it you can make it larger and smaller there and you can drag your play uh, toggle and you can see where I've actually cropped off. Um, so I could put some text there now. Press control as if I move my text to here. And 
and you can select the text and move it to wherever you want using the select tool and you can see we're starting to build up the layers. So another option is to do a voiceover on your advert. So to do that what you do is you find the next uh, blank audio uh, slot on your timeline and you can see here we've got a voice over record. So when you press it then it will start giving you a timer and then it will start recording your voice. So Jasmine Rose, a singer-songwriter from South Wales. Once you're happy, you can press stop on the record and you can see here we've now got a layer with your voiceover on. So some of the other things that you can do are things like your transition effects. So like with any other software that you've used, transition is when um, there's an effect between two different images or an image and um, a video. And if you go to your effects tab, if you can't see it, you can click on the down um, arrows. You've got the arrows and you get a drop down box. We've got effects. So we've got um, audio effects, so you've got some things like crossfade, gain, fade, and I think we're going to put some um, video transitions on. So as it goes from one image to another, you can see at the moment it just goes from one straight to the other. We can choose whichever effect that you want and just drag it between the two images and then when you play it you can see it's a slight fade. Um, so let's have a look if we do this one and dip to black. Just play around which one affects which effect is your favourite and try to be consistent throughout because house style is going to be really really important. So when you're obviously designing your advert or your video just think of who the target audience is, just think of who you're doing the actual video for. All right. so the last thing we're then going to do um, is to export it. Now there's two different ways that you can export. You can either go to file and down to the export and choose media or your other option is just hitting the export in the tab at the top when you hit export then, it'll take a couple of seconds to load and then you can choose the file name that you want and where it's actually located and where it's stored and we've got, you can choose the format that you want as well. So these ones are ones which are consistent to what I've used before and then you just hit the export. Now if you haven't got the export as an option you might be missing a little bit of an extension piece of software that needs to go with the advert. If it doesn't load it doesn't always get um, pushed through with the original um, Premiere Pro. So once it's exported you are ready to play.